When I ride my bicycle, I have lights, a helmet, and a reflective vest. I signal when I want to turn left or right, but these big visible signs are not my reason for riding. When I ride my bike, I'm going someplace, and the signals are for other people to see so that they will know where I'm going and why. The same thing is true for writing. It's necessary to pick a route before you set off and to let your readers know what route you're taking at every step. The thesis statement, or claim, is like the route you're traveling. The support, or preview, is like the set of directions for how you get there. Turn left on Rodeo Drive, for example. Everyone riding a bicycle should know how to behave in traffic because it will make riders more comfortable on the road and prevent cycling fatalities with cars. This part is my thesis. This part is my support. Thesis, support, the route I'm taking, the directions for how I'm getting there. But why did I pick this order for my paragraphs? In academic English, there's a tradition of end emphasis, meaning the reader will understand the end of the sentence or the idea or the paper is the most important, most convincing part. So I will put my most convincing evidence at the end and save my counter argument for after I have made my argument. There are other reasons to choose the order of a paragraph. Here are some ways of choosing paragraph orders and each one gets stronger as we go through the list. Some and more, first this, then that, definition and examples, expectation and surprise, example and comparison or example and contrast, and cause and effect. We'll examine these in order using my bicycling as a case study. Some and more. Willingness to ride is a reason for cycling safety. So is a reduction in fatalities with cars. This part is some, and this part is more. But there really isn't any reason why they should go in this order. Why not this order? No, we can do better. First this, then that. First, cyclists have to become willing to cycle on the road, then drivers can reduce fatalities. This part comes first, and this part comes after. Okay, this starts to make some sense. It feels like there's a sequence of first, second, but then you could easily argue that putting the ideas the other way around, this way, would maybe make more sense. We can do better. Definition and examples. Road safety comes in two kinds, cyclists being safe and drivers being safe. This part is the definition. This part is the examples. Okay, at least we're sure that the two pieces of support are related. They're both kinds of road safety. But there's no reason why the two kinds are in this order. We can do better. Expectation and surprise. Though most people might expect that cyclists should be responsible for their own safety, it is actually drivers who cause the most accidents. This part is the expectation. This part is the surprise. Now we're getting somewhere. You notice that if we change the sentence around, suddenly it feels much weaker? Listen. It is actually drivers who cause the most accidents. Though most people might expect that cyclists should be responsible for their own safety. This lands with a soft plop instead of a good solid thunk. But we can still do better. Example in comparison or example in contrast. These two transition types are two sides of the same coin. Comparison might sound like, just like cyclist knowledge, driver knowledge is critical. This part signals comparison. However, contrast might sound like, unlike cyclists, drivers have to take an exam to prove their knowledge. This part signals contrast. Sometimes these types of transitions can be among the strongest types. Sometimes, like here, however, they can be switched around like this and nothing much is lost. But is there a transition that is almost impossible to turn around without losing its meaning? Cause and effect. If cyclists learn how to be more comfortable on the road, it will cause drivers to get in fewer car accidents with bikes. What? 
Well, this part should be the cause, and this part should be the effect. But that doesn't make any sense. Cyclist's comfort on the road has no effect on driver knowledge about car accidents with bikes. Well, okay, what about if we flip it? If drivers get in fewer car accidents with bikes, it will cause cyclists to feel more safe learning how to ride on the road. Okay, this part is cause, and this part is effect. And that makes much more sense. I know I would feel a lot more comfortable if I knew I weren't going to die. But now we've lost that emphasis at the end, what readers have really come to expect. One more quick adjustment. If cyclists want to learn how to ride safely, they need drivers to keep the road safe for learning cyclists. This part is cause, and this part is effect. Now that's a transition. I've picked my route, strapped on my safety gear, and ridden off on the road. Everything's smooth sailing. Happy trails. Oh. Where are you at?